Welcome, everybody, to the show. Appreciate y'all. It's a beautiful day here in Silver City, as you can tell. Y'all can see it. Can y'all see it? I hope so. I hope you're having a great day. <clears throat> Wherever you are on the planet. Let's get it going, shall we? Experience Dalton Gallery in the heart of Silver City, New Mexico, where art comes to life. Discover the beauty of creativity with my stunning collection of prints. Del Here at Dalton Gallery, I believe art should be accessible yeah. to everyone. That's why Hello I'm excited to introduce my exclusive collection eyes. made here in America. With just a few taps on your phone, you can own a piece of art that speaks to you. Check us out online at shanedaltongallery.com or on the shop app to take what a up, unique Dale? piece of art today. How you doing, bud? Welcome, welcome, welcome. How you? Appreciate you. Welcome to the show. I'm excited to do some off-roading with you. That sounds like it's going to be fun. Me and my pops, we've been having fun with the old Beam NG. Dell 7840 said, Sorry I ruined you and again disappointed face. Ah, you didn't. Don't worry, dude. I was just saying I have to change that commercial because I stopped doing... Uh, Dell 7840. What did I stop? I stopped doing said, the music. Add again even. Epidemic sounds. I stopped doing that, so I have till April twentieth to write my own music, put it in my own commercial, <laughs> and go from there. How you doing, bud? Welcome. Uh, today we are working on this painting. I have it down here low because I'm gonna flip the painting upside down, and we're gonna work on some clouds. Man. All right, all right, all right. So let's flip this over. So yeah, just some color down here. All right, paint palette. All right, in order to make some uh, Funky, rainy clouds. This is what I see here. A little rain. Oh, I like this bucket. Pretty nice. Dell 7840 said, Will be a day or so before offloading I'm factory reset the PC it's been crying out or it now for over a year face with tears of joy. <laughs> yeah, I hear you, man. I'll be all back to order April 19th, April 20th, really. Okay, this blue is... Screwy. Let's get some of this stuff involved. Doug. A little fl Seth. fluid medium. Hope you well. Doug, welcome, bud. I'm doing excellent. Thank you. Thank you for asking. Dell 7840 said, Hey, Doug. Yeah, 
That makes green. Yellow and blue make green, right? I remember. Just kind of helping this blue Doc. out. Sir, Dell, hope you well. Yeah, thanks everyone for joining in today. Again, we're going to be working on the clouds. But this blue is too blue. So, no on that. Dell 7840. Said, as well as can expect, hope you are to mate. Now let's try white with some yellow. Because it's, it's a difficult push because yellow and blue make green. I don't want to make green clouds, yeah? Doug said, I am okay, go. thanks. Ooh, that's a pretty color. Uh, I'm going to zoom in for you guys so you guys get to see exactly this experience. Dell 7840 said, Papa John's painting palette fancy space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super fancy around here, man. Look, I've tried to have real palettes before. They don't get me too far. I just clutter them up. I mean, I'm not cleaning them. And my maid, she never... They never go to work, so I never get anything done. Oh, that's a good yellow, though. <coughs> it might be hard to see, but I think when more of it starts, here, I'll put some up here. Dell 7840. Said, LOL, I'm just glad I got the name correct, LOL. Papa John's. Yeah, it's a pizza place. All right, we're in a good color here. I like this. Dell 7840 said, I know that meant the palette. So I'm really excited about this painting because we are around 9 to 10 hours in on day 8. And that's exciting because I feel I'm, I'm well far into the painting and that's what I want, yeah. Get these doggies done. Dell 7840 said, Dose it get easier the further you get when do you feel you're getting comfortable? <laughs> no, it's actually the opposite. It's easier earlier in the painting. I don't have to think as much. Like even kind of right now, I just have to start thinking about where to place certain colors. But I am still early enough in the painting 
to be as free formed as I want to be with the lines. So it's a little bit of back and forth. The longer the painting goes, the more of a picture it becomes. And when, you know, therefore I have to, d you know, I have to agree with the painting or change it. And basically commit to whatever it is that I'm doing. And once I decide to commit, that's when it becomes more. So the longer you see me working on a painting, the more frustrating it is. The more times I'm holding my breath while I make a brush stroke. But again, right now, we're adding color to some of the form that's just paint brushed on. And this is what makes the, my job a little easier. Because I don't even have to think about it. I just got to follow the lines. I like that. And I'm placing it. So I'm allowing the sun to come up right up this center with some yellow. Dell 7840 said, How catastrophic are mistakes, no janks? Um, not bad. <coughs> it's paint. If I, like, well, okay, so let's reconsider this notion of what a mistake is. <laughs> a mistake could be as silly as uh, misplaced or a bump in the line that I place. That I can consider a mistake. Or what if I start to put a tree in and then decide that's not a place for a tree. That's huge. That's on another level. Because the backdrop is already in. And either you're going to make something of that tree or not. And start over. That's always a possibility. And I always like to say that, you know, it's just a paintbrush away from fixing. Um, I don't know if I've ever said that, to be honest. But... It seems easy enough because it's paint. However, if I put a tree in and I don't like the tree, uh-oh. Then what? So I'd keep adding a little bit more white to it and a little bit more white just to keep the edge TJC gaming changing said oi oi how are we oi 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 what's up dude welcome TJ how are you today we painting clouds all up in here right now So did you all see my uh, saw incident? It's on Discord. And it's free on my Patreon page. <coughs> so feel free to go see. TJC uh, Gaming said, I'm kid free so we are watching TV together and having a chill night. A piece of wood went through my finger, started on this side, came out this end. And I cut it all on film and put it over there. So it's free to watch for everybody. Patreon.com slash, uh, slash the space train. I even slow mode it down. It's pretty gross. Pretty gross.
TJC Gaming said space playing with his wood this is a video we need to see oh baby Dell 7840 said tut 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 good thing you don't need hands to be an artist <laughs> I thought and it was two days ago it's healed up pretty good I thought for sure it was going to take today and put it in the hole but now my finger's doing well Need some of that white up there. I had an art gallery in 1996 and 97. And in this art gallery, I had steel floors that I cut into two inch strips. And then I did this little spinny thing with the sandpaper, made it all trippy looking, and then laid them out, right? While doing that, I got steel in my eye. I'm sure I've said this story before, but I'm saying it again. And then I had to kind of think about, like, oh, I'm an artist, and now I'm an artist with one eye. It was a real thought. But they just pulled the steel out. It rusted, but they pulled it out. And for this, I was just making frames for my prints. And whack, I was impaled. There we go. See, we give the cloud a little body, a little structure. Just looking for places to add the color. But I really want this to feel like it's weighted with water. Dell 7840 said, Need a wee drilling LOL as mechanic. I have had that too. It's more mentally torturing than painful when they're fixing eyes, especially with the drill. Yeah, if you drill through your finger. <clears throat> yeah, we're lucky we don't have these pain receptors too many in there. Because... It was mostly sh just just shocking. I mean, if I hit my hand now, it hurts. So I try not to hit my hand. Now remember, we are painting upside down. And when we flip the painting over, it's going to be a picture of, I don't know, I'm not that guy. <coughs> Dell 7840 said, true, but I was meaning when you got metal in a... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah.
Yeah. Getting metal in the eye and then... Oof, I remember that night. Because I was like, I'm not going to the doctor, right? It'll, it'll come out. I didn't know what was wrong. It just burned. And it just stung. And then by morning, I'm like, yeah, forget this. I'm headed to the hospital. It was like 5.30 in the morning. No sleep. And doctor comes at me with a big old steel blade. I'm like, no, 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 no. And he yelled at me. Yeah, that guy was a jerk. The benefit of what I'm doing now is that I can go over any line with a pure white and it will highlight any part of it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me throw my paintbrush around. Anyway, I appreciate all y'all for hanging with me today. Doing a little bit of chill painting. Hopefully I'm not in the way of the camera too much. Dell 7840. Sick. Perfect. LOL, you know you messed up when you have doctors, nurses, or ambulance staff yell at you, or in my case, all three back to back. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> yeah, you don't want them yelling Dell at you. Dell 7840. Sick. Teach me to be honest with medical personnel. There's no way. And here I thought this was an America thing. <clears throat> Seems to be happening everywhere. Doctors want money and I don't have any. All right, I'm really just, I'm trying to get these clouds bright remember this is the painting you need sunglasses to look at I'm just going to keep going back and forth with the yellow. Dell 7840. Said. LOL, to be fair, I was having angina and waited days to call an ambulance. Figured it would go away, and though it was just my stent settling, LOL. Yeah. And that's a thing that, that they're always dealing with, too, is, uh, you know, people who might be not as sick as they seem so they're always constantly trying to make sure you're in need boom that's a nice color too 
So it kind of made a nice creamy blue. Almost impossible color out of this yellow. The impossible color tonight at 12. Whoops. See that kind of mistake? You just rub out with your fingers? Good. Dunzo. I mean, if you find a mistake in this painting, you've been looking at it way too long. You know what I'm saying? I honestly hope that people someday study these paintings and talk about the simplicity and other educated things that you would talk about about when you speak of paintings. I wouldn't know. I failed art history four times. It was my favorite class, but I couldn't Del wrap my, couldn't wrap my head around it. Said, Hidden fingerprint ID marker. <laughs> fingerprint ID. Beep, boop, beep. <sighs> we need a little more here. Boom. All right, give me a second. <coughs> Two seconds. Dell 7840 said, Space ahead of the times, no signature fingerprint hidden somewhere. KP Nation said, What of Mr. Space? Kizzle, Pizzle, Mizzle, what's up, dude? Welcome. I had to go take some peanut butter. And put two pieces of bread around it. I was going to pass out. Welcome to the show. We have an upside down painting we're working on. Not a whole heck of a lot going on. How's your day? KP Nation said, fine. Dell 7840 said, using a paint knife or normal knife to butter that bread. Yeah, it was a normal butter, butter knife. What do you think this is? I... <laughs> I eat soup with a fan brush. I just soak it up with the brush and <laughs> suck it off the end. Wait, that's too suggestive. Stop, rewind. All right, I, I 
I need to pull some of this yellow out to kind of give this uh, a little base. Dell 7840 said, Not the first time I used a chisel to cut a sandwich H in the job LOL. Oh yeah, as if, if this was like yeah my just an art gallery and not my house, <laughs> certainly <clears throat> I'd be using some kind of hacksaw to make this ham sandwich happen. That's good stuff, man. These clouds are very square that I've drawn. But that happens. Dell 7840 said, Not be long till we're using protein in past form through a 3D printer to make food LOL. Dude, nice. <clears throat> Maybe I could just make these little cakes that are like bite-sized cakes. And they got all the protein I need. I'll even chew it, you know, to help the whole system work. But yeah, then I'll just print myself some cakes and I'll never have to stop painting. Or gaming or building. That sounds fun. I'll call them tasty cakes. And I'll sell them to people who don't have a 3D printer. That's pretty cool. That's where the bug protein is going to come into play. They're just going to use bug protein or Soylent Green. You know, it's people. And then we can just 3D print food with people. I don't think YouTube's going to like this. YouTube's going to be like, man, they're giving away all our secrets. Giving away all our secrets in the morning. Ooh. All right, all right, all right. Somebody did something right. I 
like that. I'm still thinking of tasty cakes. What a great idea. I mean, not that it's people. The other part. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's looking good now. If I had music, I'd be dancing. Oh yeah, we got some commotion happening here. I like it. Putting in this white here is helping the structure because there's already a lot going on in these clouds because, again, I, I want you to wear sunglasses when you have to look at this painting. I want it to be bright, yo. I just want to take a look, see? <clears throat> now 
now we just got to step back, take a gander, soak it up, and I'll be right back. Grab yourselves a drink. Boomer Lee said, oh, oh, where are you? Welcome back, Scooby Doo Boo 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 Doo Boo. Scoop and Bop Badida. So when I look at this painting, I went outside and gandered it through the window, in the inside. Boomer Lee. And I like it. Said. This looks like. I was asleep. Daytime lightning up here. So this is what we worked on today, Boomer. So far. I'm going to highlight some of this tree, and I'm thinking 
Well, we got to give the brush. We got to put some leaves on these trees. Right, right. Right, right. So let's use this blue green. And we got the white there to mix it in. And a little bit of black. You were taking a nap. Nice. Well, hopefully it was a good one. I'm not going to use this black. It's too crusty. I think I'm going to have to cut, cut this open. Said, nice, I shut up now. I like hearing you. And now let's put some foliage. I, I know I need one more tree, and I think it has to be close, and it has to be tall and right here in front of us. I'm scared. These are the mistakes, Dell. if you're still here with us. These are the ones that scare the artists the most. So let's let's put some tr <laughs> let's yeah, let's do the foliage on this one first. Where's my glasses? Voila. All right. I'm going to zoom into this tree. And we'll get some footage of us putting this tree some life. Once we do that, we should be pretty good. I say with all the confidence. So a dark blue-green, because we're looking for shadow. The darkest part of the plant. This brush is not going to do me well. So basically, that's not dark enough. That's cool. I'm just rolling the brush on there right now. I like Welcome back. Diddle-dee-ding, diddle-ding, diddle-dee-ding. Scootin' bop and beat it.
little by little. Poco a poco. And we just find out where these little tough things live. Use my left hand. Really throw off the uh, system. JR Sim Racing. What's up, Sim. Junior? Trying to undo my Dune image. Howdy, Mr. Dalton and Sir Dalton. Howdy, y'all. How are you today, bud? JR Sim Racing. Sid. Good man just watching the game at the minute. All right, all right. Go team. JR Sim Racing. Sid. And just like that they scored FFs. Nice. <clears throat> so as we build, we will add different lighter tones. JR Sim Racing said, how to explain, it's like Rocket League over time and it's been a great game then they score. Nice. JR man. Sim Racing said, anyway enough about me how's the pinky do we need to operate? <laughs> nah man, it's in great shape. Stick went through here. Oh, I can get the stick. Hang on. Oh, because you know I saved the stick. So I was looking at the stick. I'm like, man, there's no blood on the stick or nothing weird. And then I flipped the stick over to the thick side. And I was like, oh, because that's the side that went through my hand was the thick end. But uh, basically, it went through right there. And it was sticking out right there. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lordy. I'm going to frame that one. But, yeah, it's doing great. I keep uh, smacking it and, like, hitting it. That's no good. But other than that, it's working. It's a working. JR Sim Racing 
said. Now you have an excuse for being a poor shot on video games. Ah, at least for a couple days. Uh, I swear, it's like... It's not bad. But, you know, pain receptors, minimal, right on your knuckles. This is like where you're supposed to abuse yourself, I suppose. So, perfect shot. Glad I didn't go through the hand. Glad I didn't go through anywhere delicate and more painful and more terrible. I got really lucky, and I just got to be oh, way more careful, all right? Can we be more careful? Will somebody please be more careful? So, yeah, I got to be more careful. JR Sim Racing said, Also put Papa Dalton in hood cam for his BM being driving. He would be much better than third person trying to drive with the wheel. Yeah, he's killing it. He's doing it up. JR Sim Racing said, Yes, be more careful. I won't tell anyone you cried your secrets safe with me. So there's a branch here that needs to happen. Nice. Okay. JR Sim Racing said looks like a beautiful day there in Silver City. Yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous here. 68 degrees, I think. Sunny. Beautiful. Okay, so this this little end here obviously needs attention. But that's all right. JR Sim Racing said, Is Papa Dalton looking forward to some rain and non humid air at home or has he acclimatized to it well? It would kill me out there, Factor 50 sunscreen. Ah, he loves the sun. I mean, he was kind of upset that it was raining.
JR Sim Racing said, Well you're in for a culture shock and climate shock when you finally come visit us all in the UK. Well, I'm looking forward to it. JR Sim Racing said, Going to make you eat crap British food I don't even like. <laughs> Looking forward to that too. All right, now that I screwed this all up, hey. Complete, complete breakdown, breakdown, <coughs> breakdown, complete, <coughs> that's my brain, everybody. Welcome to the final shutdown. But that's okay. This whole thing is a project of Boomer Lee. Whatever. Said. Me too. I am curious about bubble and squeak. All right. I gotta. I gotta. Mm, I gotta figure this out right now. Amazing what a couple of lines will do here. Bing, bang, bang. Okay.
Okay, I saved it. Ooh. Oof. And to think, three seconds ago, okay, to think, ten minutes ago, I was freaking out. Uh-huh, uh-huh.
That's some small lines. Trying to give the middle a little more body. Dang. Okay. That's good. Okay, so I gotta chill. So now I got to do that to that. Okay, I'm not going to do this today. I've done some clouds, and we've set the journey for the leaves. That's what I needed to do. If I keep going, I'm going to screw it up. I know that for a fact. 
So next time you see it, it'll either be done more with a video that will help explain how I did it, or we'll be going further on it next Thursday, if not Saturday, if I choose to do a drawing or work on this painting. I'd like to get this painting worked on, but, you know, little by little, got to do it right. I don't want to screw it up. It's my one shot for success. That's it. If I fail at this, Boomer Lee, I fail at everything. Said, you good thumbs up. You good thumbs up. Thank you very much, Boomer, for hanging with us. Glad you uh, had a good nap. Enjoy your afternoon. We're going to go outside and enjoy some sunshine here. Probably finish the frame that we've been working on. Yeah. And we'll see you all next time. Oh. Microphone noises. Sweet.